So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Game. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Uh, I... <laughs> This figure is pretty much going to be the same as the Battle Armor He-Man, except with this one, I'm going to concentrate probably more on the sculpt and the paint job. So first, let's go ahead and go over the basics with this figure. Okay, so articulation. We've got the head, which is really nice, moves perfectly from side to side, up and down. It's not a ball joint. We got the arms that go straight out. Up and down, left and right. Uh, we've got swivel, uh, no swivel at the bicep here. Or do we? Yes, we do. They're just really tight. Uh, elbow joints, wrist articulation. The legs go out. Got the softer loincloth. We got the uh, bending at the knee joints. Uh, not really, they don't really move very well here at the calf, but we do have the foot joints. Uh, the waist, which was really hard the first time I turned them, and uh, he does turn. There we go. But he's really hard. The first time I did that, I was thought I was going to break him. So, joints are really tight on this guy. So, we've got out and back. So, there we go. So, you can get a good decent sitting position if you wanted to sit him in places like the uh, Wind Waiter, or if you got the Throne of Castle Grayskull, he'll fit pretty good on that. So, alright. Battle Armor Skeletor does come with a few accessories. First up, uh, I'll tell you what he doesn't come with is his uh, other half of the Power Sword and his Havoc Staff. Uh, the Vintage figure, I believe, did come with the Havoc Staff. This one, however, they chose to add a purple variant of the Battle Axe, which I think is awesome, because in the uh, cartoon series, in the first episode, Skeletor did have a Battle Axe. So that's pretty neat. So you can actually use this with this figure or your regular Skeletor, and it looks really cool. And there's even a nice two-paint metallic shine to this. It's very sparkly. So, and it very much matches the paint job on the armor, which I'm going to go over here. So, if you look really careful, the armor has a nice, like, sparkly shine to it, even on the black part, which is really detailed, very reminiscent of the vintage figure. The bat has a nice paint job, a pink and uh, purple, along with the green on there. You got the skull right here, very detailed. Um, this was always my favorite version of Skeletor, just because of the overall look of his armor. So, very cool, very bright. I love the skull on this one. I've almost been tempted a few times to remove this one off his, of this body and trade it with the other Skeletor, just because I like this face a little better. So, like the battle armor of the vintage, the um, chest chair, when you tapped it, would reveal... Um, a scratch on the armor. If you tapped again, it revealed two scratches on the armor. Medi Collector decided not to go that route, and it is removable. It doesn't have a spring activation. Instead, they opted to package him with these. Uh, this chest piece is removable, and you can replace him with one of these instead. And I will go ahead and show you how this is done. Okay, first off to note that the um, armor on this one and battle armor is more of a solid plastic, almost kind of like the plastic that were on the uh, uh, original like 
uh, plastic hard armors of the vintage, which worries me because to be able to remove this, you have to take off this armor. Um, I noticed on my battle armor He-Man that one of these clips I was already starting to wear. It's got that little white in there. So from, that's going to worry me over time if you decide you're going to continue to uh, take these off and replace them. So I need to do this without destroying. There we go. I'll check the figure real quick here. You see you got the tabs here. So, and what we do is we just take this, punch it out like that, and then we can take one of our other chest pieces, line it up, and just kind of, it just kind of plugs into the place like so. See? And then we just put it back on our Skeletor action figure like so. Armor snaps in place. And there we go. Now Skeletor has battle damage. Okay, so Battle Armor Skeletor uh, was available fairly early on in the line. Um, uh, I'd have to check the date here, uh, somewhere. It's available on here somewhere? Okay. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say early on in the line, a few years in the line. Um, so, he's not available to purchase on Maddie Collector or Mattel. Um, however, he's available on the, uh, second gen markets such as eBay. So I'm not exactly sure on the price uh, on this one. I got him, Battle Armor He-Man, and another one I'm getting ready to review here. I'm really excited about. Uh, I got these in a trade. So, um, but they are available on eBay. And this one in particular uh, is one of my favorite uh, Mad uh, Master Universe Classics figures. Just because it is the Battle Armor uh, version. And I just love that uh, particular figure. So... Check them out if you can. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.